The MG ZST with more tech, more safety with 360 degree camera and more peace of mind from 25490 drive away. The award winning MG ZST, it's the more you've been looking for. On air, online and on your smart speaker. Get that feeling. Hot Walk, amazing tasty Asian cuisine. Here's News Briefing. Hello, Alicia McFarlane with your news briefing. The United States is confident it will have enough industrial capacity to supply up to five Virginia-class submarines to Australia. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese has arrived in the US today ahead of talks with UK PM Rishi Sunak and US President Joe Biden. Congressman Joe Courtney has told the ABC the workforce in American shipyards continues to expand. As you know, we're talking, um, the U.S. industrial base has delivered 21 Virginia-class submarines over the last two decades. Uh, there'll be two more this year, uh, the Rickover and the New Jersey. That will bring it up to 23. The Queensland government has announced a crackdown on vaping and it's targeted towards kids. It'll look into how cheap the devices are, how easily they're accessed and the marketing around it. The state's premier, Anastasia Palaszczuk, says many people, including kids, don't know they contain nicotine and other harmful toxins. They are advertised as being bubble gum, uh, grape ice, a whole range of flavours. And many people have even commented to me, I've given up smoking, but I'm vaping and that's OK. A horror crash in a small New South Wales town has claimed the lives of three, including two kids. Last night, a ute left the road in Coots Crossing and struck a tree. An 11-year-old girl, 14-year-old boy and 43-year-old man died at the scene. For the first time in more than 60 years, the carpet at tomorrow's Oscars won't be red. Instead, it'll be a champagne colour. In sport, Australia's Tim Zhu has won his first world title, defeating Tony Harrison by knockout. The 28-year-old claiming the interim super welterweight title at a packed-out Sydney Superdome. The Knights' Kalen Ponga has suffered his fourth concussion in 10 months while on the field against the West Tigers today. The captain knocked out in just the second minute. And India appears set to chase down Australia's first innings total on day four of the fourth test. Last check, they were four for 348 by of a shower and thunderstorm for Mackay and the Wit Sundays today. We're dropping to 23 tonight. More of the same tomorrow and 32 degrees. 31 on Tuesday and 30 on Wednesday. Don't forget the Listener app is the home of your local news. Join now to listen live or on demand.